The last video I put out focused on leveling your character efficiently, but that can be a complicating and challenging endeavor, so here are 8 tips and tricks to make your life just a little bit easier. If you're intending to make this a perfect character, you have to have a game plan. It might seem a bit much to have it all out on paper, but laying out the major and minor skills you'll be working on at each level allows you to avoid mistakes and make sure all of your attributes are accounted for. Now keeping track of how many times you've leveled each skill can be better done by the app. This seriously changed my life. I'm not sure if you could find this on iOS, but you androids have access to the best tool for tracking your skill ups when efficient leveling. It doesn't track the attributes, so I keep that on paper, but when you have to level three skills 10 times each, it takes the stress out of tracking and lets you focus more on the game. Even if you forget a couple points, it shows you where you started and where you left off, so it's easy to correct by just checking your journal menu. Well, this really applies to the game in general, not just efficient leveling. No matter your character or playstyle, endurance should be maxed as early as possible if you want the maximum amount of health points. Why? It's the only attribute whose effects aren't retroactive, so if two of the same exact characters have 100 endurance, the one who leveled and maxed it earlier will have more health. Okay, so this is especially for those who are trying to do minimum leveling. Because I'm trying to stop at level 25, I may have made this mistake more than once. You see, each attribute can only receive up to 5 points per level if leveled properly. So if you start at level 30, like I did with agility, you need 14 level ups to max it to 100. Not to mention you have other attributes and only 3 that can be worked on per level. Maxing everything by the lowest level possible requires them to be carefully puzzle pieced together and planned, like I said in step 1. I'm thinking of doing a build series that sets up these leveling plans for different races, genders, and playtypes, so let me know if you'd be interested in seeing that in the future. Some of you already know this, but it's essential for efficient leveling. Once your major skill levels up for the 10th time within a level, it'll force a level up. Now you won't actually technically level up until you sleep, but the game will note it and apply any more skill ups to the following level up. In other words, if you haven't finished earning up the attribute bonuses for the minor skills, before you finished up with a major skill, you'll be stuck with whatever bonus you've already earned, and that's why every once in a while, despite your best efforts, you miscalculate your skill ups and triumphantly reach the level up screen, only to find out that your bonuses are not all perfect fives. It is the worst feeling ever, especially if you haven't had any recent saves. I think the game autosaves before each time you sleep, but that doesn't allow you to fix anything since it takes place after the official level up, so strategically save your game and never trust autosaves. Up next is... This can be applied to any playstyle, not to mention life in general, but due to several factors involved in leveling this aggressively, you may not have a steady flow of income. Most things you need you'll find anyway, especially if you know where to look. Your first priority should be getting the 2000 Septum Waterfront property in the Imperial City and save the rest for any necessary item repairs or maybe even skill trainers if you want to speed things up a little bit. The rest of the coin, of course, will be for that mercantile skill. So I guess brilliant tip and or trick 7.B would be buying a home should be your first goal. Storing the different weapon types, armor types, syllable items, and alchemy items allows you to save them for when you want to level up those specific skills. Another reason you don't need to spend too much on gear is that you really should use lower damage weapons. This may sound ridiculous, but I've noticed that when using better items to level a skill, it takes longer than the weaker ones. It appears at least that the experience you're gaining doesn't come from how much damage your weapon does to an opponent, but rather by each time you're making contact. And again, I'm not sure how this works with armor, it just, I don't know, there's probably a more scientific test I could do. But simply from experience, my iron dagger and gear leveled my character faster than my stronger weapons and armor. The most frustrating thing about this little tidbit is that I couldn't find anything about it online, so there's no confirmation or exact numbers I can give you. All I can say is that ineffective armor and essentially butter knifing your way through the game actually seems like the more tolerable way to make it to the higher levels. Well, those are my top tips and tricks for efficient leveling in Oblivion. If there's any helpful efficient leveling ideas, life hacks, builds, or whatever that you'd like to share with your fellow nerdy gamers, or even want me to go over in another video, then share it in the comment section below and subscribe for more Oblivion content.